This Hard Disciples baseball highlight is brought to you by Kreis Sparkasse, München, Starnberg, Ebersberg. Checks on the runners a couple of times, and now the pitch to Thorpe. A little pop-up, shallow center field. This is floating out, and it's going to land in front of Jan Jakob. Ziegler was risking it and runs all the way and scores. Well, Jan Jakob came very close to catching that ball, and it would have been a double play, but it falls in, and the Disciples lead 1-0. Bollinger comes back. Here it comes. Strike three called, a fastball over the inside corner. 0-2 from Bollinger. Strike three, a fastball in the inside corner. Wilhelm was looking for something out over the plate. He but so far just the one run allowed. And the 1-0 pitch to Ziegler. That ball is ripped to right field down the line. Base hit towards the corner. Klein being waved her in. That ball goes all the way to the wall. Klein scores. Thomas around third. He is coming to the plate. He scores. It's a two-run double for Chris Ziegler. And the Disciples lead 3-0. Not much you're going to do here with a runner at second base and two outs and two strikes. 3-0 the Disciples leading here in game four, trying to force a game five. One ball and two strikes. Bollinger set the pitch. Hit on the ground up the middle into center field. That's a base hit. Stummel around third. He's being waved to the plate. Thomas's throw to the plate is in time. He's out. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. Bollinger is set. The runner leading off second base. Three nothing hard. The pitch. Strike three called. And there will be a game five. Ryan Bollinger with a complete game, four hit shutout, 11 strikeouts. And like I said, if that's the last we see of Ryan Bollinger this season, it will have capped what is a truly historic season in the Bundesliga. 297 strikeouts for the left-hander. Starting things off here in the top of the first of game five. Swing and a miss, strike three. Steinlein is a strike away from getting an important strikeout. You have to view this game as if it's going to be like the bottom of the ninth inning every single time. Game five, one and two. Here it comes. Swing and a miss, strike three. The ball blocked by Thorpe, and he applies the tag. There are two down, and the infielders can back up. Here's the pitch. A bouncing ball to the right side. Klein gets a nice big bounce. He throws to first, and the inning is over. Bond does not score. 0-2, one out. Top of the third, no score. The pitch. Hit sharply on the ground to Klein. Could be two. There's a flip to short. There's one. There's the throw to first. There's two. One out, nobody on. We're in the fourth third inning, and he lines a base hit to right center field towards the alleyway. Thomas with a big turn. Jakob gets the ball in. He's going to try. Here's the throw. He is safe. He got under the tag. <laughs> Daring base running, and he was reading the body language of Jan Jakob the whole way. He could clearly see that Jakob was going to get to the ball before it went to the gap, but Jakob hesitated ever so slightly. And that's the moment when Thomas decided to go for it. It was a risk. From the stretch and the pitch. A ground ball to the right side. That's a base hit. Thomas being waved around. Lankhorst comes up throwing all the way to the plate. It's over, everybody. Thomas scores. Ziegler goes to second base. one nothing Disciples. Ziegler is on third base. Sasha Kolk deals. 
Curve inside corner strike three, completely fooled Thorpe. And here's the payoff. Swing and a miss, strike three. The high fastball. And a 1-2-3 inning for Lucas Steinlein. Excellent. And the first man he faces is Danny Langhorst, who made that nice running catch. First pitch, base hit to left field between third and short. And Langhorst is on. The 1-2. Curveball, line drive, right center field. That's a base hit towards the alleyway. Bollinger comes up with it, and he throws it into second base. Runners are going to end up on first and third. A base hit for Adrian Stummel. First and third, one out. The 1-0 pitch to Brink. Curve tapped weakly on the ground to Ziegler. He's going to come home, and the throw is uh, not in time. The run scores because his throw was low. Thorpe couldn't find the handle and tag out the runner. They had Lankhorst dead to rights at home, but Ziegler's throw was low, and he scores. This ball game is tied one to one. Stumbled the go-ahead run now at second base, and the pitch. A ground ball to second, could be two. Klein has it to Pinero one, to Stefan two, and the inning is over. Well, one pitch later, the Disciples get what they wanted on 0 and 2. Steinlein is set. There's the 0 2. Strike three! Another high fastball. And there are two down. He toes the rubber, he comes set. 1 and 0 on Langhorst. The pitch. A high pop up. Richard Klein out to the outfield grass. He makes the catch, and the inning is over. Bond does not score. And we go to the bottom of the sixth inning, still tied at one here in game five. A long hold the pitch. Bunted up the first base side, fielded by Steinlein. He's got time to go to first, and he does so. And that moves the go-ahead run to second base. The go-ahead run is Jan Jakob at second base with one out here in the seventh of a 1-1 tie. Fine line from the set and the pitch. A fly ball, right field, Bollinger racing over. He will not get it. It's a base hit. And around third is Jan Jakob. He's coming to the plate. He will score. The throw goes to second base. And Bond leads 2-1. to one. On an RBI double off the bat of Eric Brink. Luke Steinlein has his sign and comes to the set position. Here's the pitch. A high fly ball to deep right field. Bollinger drifting back at the wall. He is in front of it, looking up, and it's off the top of the wall. And it's a base hit, and a run scores, and it's a double for B.J. Roper Hubbard, and Bond leads 3-1. to one. Fine line over 100 pitches now. Another long look at the runner at second, and now the pitch. Curve, hit on the ground, past the dive of Ziegler, down the left field line for another base hit. Roper Hubbard scores, Lamb Hunt going to second base. The throw is in time, he is out, but the inning is over, and Vaughn leads four to one. So give Lamb Hunt a single, a run batted in, and he is thrown. And that's a ground ball up the middle, and it is a Base hit into center field. Palacios is three for three. There's a one-one. A ground ball up the middle, and it is into center field. A base hit. Palacios scores. And now the throw back to second base, and Miguel Pinero is out. He rounded too far. That is a very costly base running mistake. However, the score is four to two. It was a strike. So the full count. Seeger on first base. Probably will not be going anywhere. Three and two, the pitch. A slow chopper back to Schmitz. He goes to second. There's one. The relay throw to first. Is in time. A very close play. Steinlein turns around and just puts his hands on his hips. And Philip Howard out to have the same argument he had yesterday. Patrick Meister was right there. And the pitch. A ground ball to the hole. That's a base hit. In to score is Stubble, and Bond leads five to two. And the Capitals are one strike away.
Max Schmitz is set. One and two. Here it comes. Strike three, and the ball game is over. And the Bonn Capitals, for the first time in 18 years, will play for the Bundesliga final. Max Schmitz slams the door in relief of Sasha Koch. And the Bonn Capitals are going to the finals. And what a weekend of baseball we had here in Har. Three top-notch baseball games, a top-notch atmosphere. And in the end, the Bonn Capitals just a little bit too much for the Har Disciples. And the two teams are now meeting in the center of the diamond as well they should to congratulate one another. A classic five game series has come to an end. Let's take a look at that out. As Max Schmitz struck out Miguel Pinheiro, Little Miggy, a high fastball, and BJ Roper Hubbard celebrating and hugging Max Schmitz, the closer for the Capitals and for the national team, and then the big dub pile on the mound. What a ball game. It was tied at one after six innings. And then Eric Brink's RBI double gave the Capitals the lead, and that was a lead they would never relinquish as they win this ball game by a score of five to two, and they win the series three games to two.